Hello, Faithfire family. I just wanted to record a quick thank you, first and foremost, for all of you who came to our Faithfire Fundraiser Fellowship in November, earlier in the month, and we just want to give God all the praise, all of the glory for your support, for your friendship, for your prayers, for the worship, uh, for those of you who came and just wanted to be in the building to show that you're on the same page as we are. We just give thanks. And as we have this Giving Tuesday, what an opportunity for us to show and share the heart of God who wants us to give out of our overflow and sometimes wants us to give out of our poverty as the woman who gave the two mites, who was so impressive to Jesus that he called her out among all those who gave because he saw her heart. Here, I'm not trying to do any kind of sermon here. I'm just telling you how I know God is moved by our giving. And so what an opportunity for us to give to some of those uh, efforts, some of those ministries, some of those organizations that we hold uh, dear uh, at this time of the year where we're entering into the Christmas season and the greatest gift, of course, Jesus Christ is who we celebrate. But for this Giving Tuesday, I just want you to consider Faith Fire. Our mission is revival in the church, awakening in the world. We do that here stateside and we do that internationally. I'm uh, looking at five days in Guatemala for January. As you might know, I decided not to go to Lima, Peru for meetings and a crusade that were being organized by our partners because I just discerned the Lord wanted me to stay home and be with family. In fact, over the last several days, our family has been sick. So pray for all of us. This thing called RSV has been going through our, our family, but we've been healed in Jesus' name and we're back to almost full strength. My point is I put some things on the shelf because I discerned the Lord wanted me to be closer to home. But we're heading to Guatemala, Guatemala in January. Anyway. We're already in talks to do some more outreach in the Claremont Homes community in Greensboro. We had a coat giveaway uh, in November, and we're going to be looking at doing some more things there. But the point is, we're doing work here stateside, as well as doing crusades, revivals, pastors, conferences. We're doing our prophetic classes here in the city. We're going to be unveiling more of those prophecy classes and prophecy courses and prayer courses. We're going to, in fact, make some of those available for you to get online and download them. Uh, God is moving in this ministry. And so I believe this is good ground. I believe that our family is good ground. In case you didn't know, uh, much of the, the donations help our family as well. Uh, I've been delving into real estate as another stream of income. I believe that's something God wants me to do for our wealth generation and for the impact upon generations uh, after us. But I do know God has called us as missionaries here in the city and abroad. And so we rely really on the giving of God's people. With that said, would love for you to be a financial partner partner with us, even if it's a one-time gift, or you could go and sign up for monthly giving or whatever giving options that fit your finances. You can do that at faithfireworldwide.com. Just click the, the support button, or you can find us at cash app, dollar sign, faithfire worldwide. You can search for us on PayPal. Uh, go to linktree slash faithfire. You can see all kinds of ways that you can give, but we just want to thank you for your consideration. We want to thank you for your support thus far. We're celebrating four years of ministry after 20 years in television. Vision News, and it is no small feat. It has been the hand of God that has sustained us, and he does so through the giving of his people. And yes, we pray for you. We give God thanks for you. And on this Giving Tuesday, we hope you'll give us another try in terms of giving and support. God bless you, and thanks so much.